It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Drum Rolls with Tracy Thornton. We've surveyed 10 of his drum rolls. We have another 10 to go. Robert Greenwich, Paradise Garden. Okay, Robert Greenwich is probably one of the top two steel drum guys in the world. Mm -hmm. um, Rangers players, him and a guy named Boogsy Sharp. They call Boogsy Sharp the Charlie Parker of Pan because mm -hmm. um, he's just such a genius. Um, which I actually got to perform in Boogsy's band in Panorama in 2002. Mm -hmm. But Robert Greenwich, nobody knows this, he's actually Jimmy Buffett's pan player. Oh, okay. But he never you never know how good he is through Buffett. He is literally one of the best, one of the top two guys on the planet today playing. Mm -hmm. And um, he has a side project off Jimmy Buffett called um, Club Trini with Michael Utley, which is the keyboard player for Jimmy Buffett. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Buffett concerts, some guy, you know, you might see the Club Trinity guys go around in a little golf cart playing their music. But their first record, Heat, which is out of print now, mm -hmm. um, had the song called Paradise Garden. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the most beautiful song I've ever heard. Song Lines is one, but this, if I had to have one song on a, on a desert, deserted island, <laughs> this would be it. And um, it is just... He's just amazing, and that song is just an amazing. So that was another breakthrough point um, for me when I heard that song. And that was probably 90, 93 or 94 when I heard that song. So, mm -hmm. But yeah, Robert Greenwich is the man, and it just goes to show that you don't have to show off every time you play. He could play a nice, simple melody and or play with Jimmy Buffett and play Margaritaville, but no one would ever know that he could play anything ever on the planet. Mm -hmm. You know, he just, he doesn't let his ego do anything. You know, he, he'll play it if he has to. But um, that was another turning point. And since then, I've gotten to be good friends with him. And he's mm -hmm. just really cool. Steel Jump Band, the community is so small. Mm -hmm. So there's really no, like, rock stars of it. And um, he's just such a nice, humble guy, too. So, mm -hmm. so uh, an advantage that you have over other musicians is you actually get to perform with a lot of your influences. Well, that was... Um, it turned out that way. Um, when I was playing drum kit, I was known around here as, you know, this great drum kit player. I was a kid and mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. When I started learning this stuff, I was starting from scratch. Yeah. I never went to college. So I was like, well, if I'm going to succeed at this, you know, I have to go to where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And you go to Trinidad. It's like, if you want to be a star, you have to go to Hollywood. Yeah. And if you're on the right track, eventually you're going to meet your connections. Mm -hmm. Um, I just went down there, you know, carpe diem, got a tattoo on my wrist, <laughs> so I don't forget it. And, um, yeah, that was my dream, is to go down there and meet these guys and mm -hmm. um, become, not really friends with them, but, to, you know, they end up doing becoming friends and having respect for the art form. And mm -hmm. uh, But, yeah, they're not, like, best friends. They don't, like, come spend a night at my house or anything, <laughs> but, you know, we all email each other every We're gonna now and We're going to crash at Tracy's. <laughs> right. <laughs> But you, here in Jamestown, where I live, if you come on a given day, one of the top steel pan players in the world could be here if he's on tour in the country. You never know. Oh, cool. No one ever knows it. You know, no one in my neighborhood knows me, but, <laughs> you know, they come through. And if they need a place to crash, sometimes they crash right here on this couch. <laughs> That's happened. <laughs> and nobody knows it. So Professor's been up here a couple of times in the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. So uh, no one up here knows who he is.